Hey guys, Sandy here. Welcome back to the channel. I am super excited to be playing with some Brutus Monroe products today. Now I am using the Sophisticated Spring Stamp Set. And as you can see, the stamp set has plenty of gorgeous Easter eggs, a couple of sentiments, and some fun little bunnies. So I went ahead and used my stamp positioner tool to stamp out a bunch of eggs. Now, I did stamp them out with some embossing ink, and then I decided to go ahead and use my chroma mists to color them in. Now I'm I, I left this in here you guys because you know I just wanted you to see what this kind of looked like with uh, the embossing ink there. As you can see it did not uh, color very well. Well no that's a lie. It colored great. The chroma is colored great. There just wasn't enough contrast with the clear embossing ink over top of white paper. So uh, clear embossing ink and clear embossing powder, I should say. So I could have used the clear embossing ink and a colored embossing powder, and that would have given uh, my eggs much more contrast. And I just wasn't um, as pleased with the contrast um, as what was happening. So as you can see, I am using different uh, chroma mists to add little bits of color. Um, I really enjoy the colors of the chroma mist that I used. Now, there are some yellows and some pinks and some blues and some purples and all, all the colors uh, that really just kind of scream, you know, springtime, Easter time eggs to me. Now, I really particularly enjoy the green and blue combo together. And then as you can see, I went ahead and added uh, some more color. I am just having the time of my life mixing and playing with the colors. It kind of reminds me back, you know, in preschool and kindergarten when you're, when you're playing with color for the first time and you're mixing things and you're seeing what happens. That kind of fun and wonder, I, like I still, I still get it. You know, like I still feel it in my soul. <laughs> um, I do go ahead and use my heat tool to heat tool these bad boys up. And then I'm going to go ahead and fussy cut them out. Now I will grab the sophisticated spring uh, paper pad as well. You guys have heard me wax poetic about this paper pad before. There are plenty of gorgeous plaids in there. And um, yeah, just it's just a great paper pad. It's, it's one of those ones that you can order over and over and over again because it's so versatile. It's just great colored, you know, spring kind of colored paper, which you could use anytime anywhere. So I do end up picking out um, this one right here. I'm, I, I'm telling you guys, I'm going to have to add, um, I'm going to have to add another one of these to my cart uh, next time I place an order for Brutus Monroe. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and stamp um, a sentiment right onto that paper. And then I am pretty sure that this card ends up on black cardstock because I have a thing for cards on black cardstock. Now, this is not the final rendition of the card. The final rendition of the card um, has, oh shoot, I just lost my words and my thoughts. Uh, the final rendition of the card has uh, black ink instead of where the clear embossing ink is. But you will be able to see the difference from the card, how it looks right now, and then the card, how it looks here in the final photos. 
because, you know, I wasn't happy with it and I ended up switching out the ink and totally forgot to turn on the camera when the ink was switched out. So there it is, you guys. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you again real soon for another video.